Oh, he's back. Bend Ladies up. and gentlemen, he's back. I'm back. After his tour of Comic Con, <laughs> Brandon, the Truth Vera, is back with The Truth Hurts. Hello, How's, everybody. How was Comic Con? Oh, Did man. Did you have fun? Comic Con was beautiful. Yeah, dude, isn't it? It's the best? beautiful all the time. <laughs> right? It's so crazy. What'd you see? Um, a lot. Yeah. I saw Zangief retired. Um, really huge Zangief that was just really out of shape. Okay. It looked like he could have been on Jen He needed Jenny Craig in his life. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. But he was good. He was having a good time. He was, he was chuckling it up with everybody. Um, yeah. I saw amazing costumes. Um, a lot of cool people. A lot of kids this year. A lot more kids this year than I, I remember from yeah. any other year. Yeah. Um, and my favorite part was uh, the Bible thumpers versus the oh, goths. I heard, I <laughs> saw the news on that it was going on. I I'm have like, no idea why they're out there yelling at people going to Comic Con. Because there's a lot of people there and they just want to get attention. <laughs> there was uh, the last day, I think it was Sunday. Yeah. They were finally away from the train tracks because a lot more goth folks showed up and just Comic Con people in general yeah. showed up yeah. pissed off. Oh. And uh, like they had to pull the, the Bible thumpers over to the side. And have like police around them for like their protection. For their protection, oh, yeah, because people were just fed up. You yeah, know? Like, have you repented? Are you gone? Right. Like, man, are you not the to time be place, man. Yeah, right? Man. Yeah. His family's hanging out, having a good time. Yeah. What are you doing? That's that's <laughs> just how it is, man. It was crazy, ridiculous. But other than that, Comic Con was beautiful. Good man. Uh, San Diego, the weather was perfect for it. wasn't too hot because you know it's right. been hot. Yeah, oh yeah. So man, everybody got to wear their costumes and not sweat through them. So well, that's cool. good. And so not doubly stinky. <laughs> exactly. It's always stinky a little bit. You know, nerds get a little, yeah. get a little stinky. Some but people like they show up, they yeah. shower on, they shower on Thursday, and then they'll shower the rest of the yeah, time. Yeah, right. There. Well, they gotta like camp out for Hall H yeah. and all that stuff. <laughs> anyway, Brandon, I'm looking at the date right now, and it, today is the July 25th. We're almost a month away from you fighting. Almost one month away. Like we're, it's coming up quick. Yes, sir. Five and a half weeks. How you feeling? What's going on with you? I'm right good, now? man. Uh, tired, but I am really good. Yeah. Why don't you tell everybody why you're so tired? <laughs> getting beat up, man. Everybody at the gym. <laughs> everybody at the gym getting beat up. It's kind of just being passed around. Uh, Okami's in camp. Um, Phil Davis is in camp. He's leaving now. Jared Platt was there. Neil Meissen from Las Vegas is there. Uh, he he's left. He's coming back. Alex the Mauler's in town. Wow. We have this guy from Sweden. His nickname is Guts. Oh. He's good, bro. He's yeah. really, really really good. Yeah. And like I I didn't know his name for a long time. He's really. You just quiet. called him Guts. And then everyone's like, oh, his, did we just call him Guts? And I was like, Guts, man, that fits him perfect. Right. Really? <laughs> yeah. He just stays in your mouth and keeps punching you over and over. Oh. Yeah. He's he's an amazing dude. Uh, and then. And, you know, they say iron sharpens iron. So oh, yeah. you're bringing in all these guys, and all these guys are training at Alliance. They're all, they have to be making you better, right? Oh, my God. Man, we're all, we're all, yesterday we all showed up to the, the field for sprints. Uh -huh. And we all just looked at each other and just started giggling, like, oh, my gosh. Like, this we're is doing gonna, this again. Yeah. <laughs> but it's going to pay off, right? It is going to pay off. It's going to pay off huge dividends. And, and it's been an amazing camp already so far. My coaches are really pushing me hard. Um. And, man, it's it's good to have Alex in, in the house because, you know, Alex right. is one of the hardest hitters in the UFC period, yeah. you know, and having him in camp keeps everybody on their P's and Q's and, and honest. Well, I mean, just <laughs> think about that. Just with a couple of guys that you mentioned, the huge fights that they're going to be in. Phil Davis is Against fighting Machida? Loyota Machida, <laughs> which is amazing, and yeah. Alexander Gustafsson is fighting for the title. He's John fighting Jones. John Jones. Yeah, so these yeah. are these are number one to number two guys right. in the division, you know, so... It's camp has been great. Yeah, not to mention <laughs> great. I'm tired, man. And yeah. the, the hardest part is just being heavyweight, man. Like moving this weight around is not like moving the weight around at 205. So I, I had to get used to that again, you know. Right. But it, it's been good. It's been really, really good. Well, that's right. the thing. Is that not to mention your fight. Your fight coming up at the end yeah. of August. You're fighting Ben Rothwell. Okay. Back at heavyweight. Back at, we're on the main card now. Nice. Yeah, it was, as, uh, it, as it should cool. be. That's cool. That's really right? cool. Thank you, UFC. Right. <laughs> uh, well, it's going to be uh, an amazing fight for yes, you, sir. and you haven't been in the octagon in over a year. It will be over a year by the time I fight Ben. Yep. Right. So, wow. I mean, you're, I'm sure you're itching. I, I am so over camp and just want to fight now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, doesn't that happen where you get, you're in camp and you're training and you're just like, okay, just let me hit somebody for real, like, 
punch somebody in the face. Let us use the small gloves, right? please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So uh, coming up in about 10 minutes here, we're going to be talking to Jake Ellenberger, the juggernaut, Ooh, so cool. who's fighting this Saturday on UFC on Fox. Free. Free fights. Free which fights. Which is always great. With Jake, come on. That's yeah. good times. Yesterday, we, we interviewed uh, DJ Demetrius Johnson, nice. the flyweight champion. Uh -huh. He's defending his belt against John Moraga, which is a guy that not a lot of people really know about. But those are the kind of opponents that kind of, for me, they, and they would make me nervous. So it's like, because yeah. everybody's expecting Mighty, Mighty Mouse, Mouse to go win. in there and win. But when you have this guy who's real good, who is on, I think I think he's on like a five fight win streak. Those are the guys you got to really pay attention to, right? Those are the guys you got to be. It's the X factor. Nobody knows anything about them. Mm -hmm. Nobody really cares about them. Or expects them to win. Johnson. Exactly. Yeah. So all the pressure is really on on Demetrius. You right. Know? And. uh I just don't, I really don't see anybody keeping DJ's pace. Yeah. I just don't see it. Those you know? flyweights are crazy yeah. fast. So, I, I, I hope Maruga shows up to be a, a good fight, and I, I'm hoping, you know, I'm not going to be able to judge that fight until the first round. Yeah. Because then we'll see what Maruga's pace is going to be. Yeah. Am I saying that right, Maruga? John Maraga. Maraga. Yeah. I keep saying Maruga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <I'm waiting laughs> right. Cigarettes and food. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> But yeah, that's I don't I just don't see anybody keeping that pace, so I won't make a decision until then because I really don't know much about that guy. Either. Yeah, and then the co-main event is Jake Ellenberger. He's fighting Rory McDonald. That's gonna be a sick fight. That, that to me is almost <laughs> the main event. Like that, that's the fight I think everybody's interested in for sure. Because I think the winner of that fight might get a title shot. That's sick. That's you know? super sick. Yeah, and uh, Rory McDonald, who you know famously trains with George St. Pierre. Yeah. You know, those two guys are, you know, league of their own. Yep. But matchup. Jake Ellenberger, I know you're a fan of his. He's, He's a, a Ooh, boy. He's yeah. a beast. He's a, you know, he trains with, with um, Team Rain, mm -hmm. with Mark Munoz. And ooh. their style is just hard to counter, yeah. that style. They're in your face the whole time. They'll strike with you if you want, and then they're trying to take you down. And you know from that camp, if they take you down, for sure they're raining fire down. From heaven above, because right. their ground and pound is vicious. And that's the thing is that these guys are great wrestlers. Yep. You know, they're all American wrestlers, but they're figuring out the striking game. Yeah. Jake Ellenberger <laughs> yeah. has heavy hands, and he's been knocking people out. Yep. Mm -hmm. So when you add that to the mix, it's like, dude, that's a dangerous combo. And Jake is, for lack of better words, not a punk. Like he's been in wars mm -hmm. where he he could have fallen out, but he hasn't. He hung in there and, and ended up getting the decision. You know, like he he's a beast. All the time, he doesn't right. quit and he doesn't stop. So, it's gonna be it's gonna be really exciting to watch this fight. I just uh, I think I think Mr. Ellenberger has the the advantage over uh, Mr. Nelson because of the fact Rory doesn't. I don't see him changing his game plan mid fight. Yeah. I don't see him changing his game plan. So you think Jake Ellenberger right now is the uh, is a slight favorite it's over Roy McDonald. Favorite. Really? <laughs> McDonald. Yeah, no, wow. Oh my gosh. I'm you're, see, I'm in camp. Yeah. I'm in camp. Sorry, I, I, I can see it. <laughs> I can see your entire guy. I'm in camp. Sorry, guys. It's all good. Uh, uh, but yeah, so you like Jake in this one. I like Jake in this one. Wow. I think, I think he's more... Really? I think he's a little bit more diverse. Not just... Uh, I'm not talking about as an MMA fighter. I'm just talking about game plan during the fight when mm -hmm. actual combat's happening. Who can switch... Gears more on the fly, and I think Jake has the advantage on I, that. I, I still think it's going to be close. Though. Yes, yes, I, I for think sure. It's going to be a good fight. <laughs> yep, See, I the thing I, I really like Rory McDonald. Me I don't too. like him as a dude. I think I like he's him. kind of a bit of a douche. But for fight, like fight, fight. <laughs> but, but as a keep it real, said keep it, it real. It, <laughs> but as a fighter, he's I mean he yeah. trains with George St. Pierre, yeah, and sure. he rem and everybody's saying like, oh, he's the next GSP. Oh, really? You know, everything you're seeing yeah. out of this guy is it, he's so well rounded. He's one of these guys that didn't come up in jiu-jitsu, didn't come up in wrestling, didn't come up in boxing. He came up as an MMA fighter. Yeah. He's one of the guys that trained from the get-go as an MMA, MMA fighter. So, he's so he knows how to do everything. Yeah. Right, exactly. So I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. I'm, I think that that's going to be a pretty wild fight. Yeah. I, it's going to be a good one. Yeah. Be, my money's on Jake. I just don't think he can switch gears in the middle of the fight. And I, I know he's a complete MMA fighter. Mm -hmm. He has some great fights, but I just don't. I want to see him. I just don't think he can be able to handle pressure. And there's something to me about Ellenberger's like strength. He, yes. him, and Munoz, like those guys, they're like freaky strong. Yeah, man. It's uh, 
Like yes. gorilla strength. Yeah. <laughs> like weird. And they train together all the time. So for sure he's going to be that strong. And they're just beating on each other. For yeah. It. yeah. Like, why, like you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yes. So Brandon's going to stick around and we're going to talk to Jake Ellenberger coming up in just a second. Awesome. Uh, but what, talk to me like about what is going through the fighter's mind right now. Like you're uh, just over 24 hours away from weighing in. You're cutting weight. You're, you're, you're thinking about the fight. Like what's going through your mind right now? Like the Thursday before a fight. Thursday before a fight, you just want to finish cutting weight so yeah. you can eat. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's not like, you know, once you make weight, it's not like you're loading up on, like, pizza and no. stuff like that, right? You're feeding your body with, like, good food, right? Yeah, you know, it used to be old school. Old school was, oh, after you finish weighing in, you go eat pasta or rice or like something. Carbs, like carbs. Carbs, yeah. yeah. Now, it's becoming really scientific, man. Like, people are... They're carb loading, but they're carb loading at a scientific level. They're taking stuff like Vitargo. They're taking um, what the hell is that? waxy maize. They're taking mm-hmm. different yogurts, uh, different Greek yogurts to help put probiotics back in their gut. Like it's, yeah. it's a whole science it, now. It's man. unbelievable. It's, diff- it's it's way different. Yeah. <clears throat> One of the staples that have not changed though is Pedialyte. That that's real. Like, that's, that's what you thing. drink to like refuel to the re- body yeah, and like for rehydrate. Your electrolytes, get your salts back in you and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. People don't know, but Pedialyte is like. So good, like it's even better than Gatorade. Yes. Well, Gatorade has a yeah. lot of sugar, in yes. it, so that's yeah. why they don't a lot drink of that, right? Yeah. 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 Pedialyte's, what's up? That's so funny. People, yeah, yeah we'll go through. Strawberry. You'll go through <laughs> about two or three. You'll go through about two or three, and not just that. Just for a little insider tip, whatever flavor you like, um, grab the clear one, the unflavored, and put Crystal Light in it. Oh, oh there's no man. That's the way to go, huh? Okay. Get well, it done. well, the next time I'm cutting weight, I'll totally do that. Get for sure. Done. Get her done. Yeah. Well, that's interesting, man. Well, we're going to be talking to Jake Allenberger here. He's going through that right now. Yeah. Where I, which how annoying is it that he's got to talk to us? Like, you know, like were you a guy that got surly when you were cutting weight? I mean, we've heard a lot of different fighters, you know, uh, say that they. I wasn't get, that bad, but no. I, I wouldn't have done an interview. Yeah, like, <laughs> I would have done an interview. So, uh, props thank you to, to him. Yeah, right props now. to yeah. him. Wow, that's crazy. We'll keep it short and sweet, bud. We'll seriously, sweet. seriously. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do this. We'll take a quick time out. When we come back, we're gonna be talking to Jake Allenberger, who's fighting on Saturday live on Fox against Warren McDonald. We'll talk to him coming up next. Uh, 